so we're not we're now designing in CMOS process at three nanometer. Yeah. How, how did we get from from here <laughs> from 1969 to uh, 70 to, to now? Yeah. To this type of uh, three nanometer uh, CMOS process technology? Because MOS are surface devices. Scalable. You can you can squeeze yeah. you can you can reduce the size of bipolar. Bipolar are three-dimensional yeah. devices. Yes. They are bulk devices. So you, you can you can you know reduce the size. So the this reduction gradual reduction of size was what allowed to go faster, denser, lower cost, com combined with larger wafer sizes. So um, so we, you know, we are talking about a a process that essentially for 50 years has been, you know, has been driving this uh, industry. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are close to the end of this line. Yep. So, uh, you know, three nanometers. Three nanometers I, I, I don't, do. I, I, you know, the, the next uh, the next step is, uh, you know, square root of three, so yeah. 1.7 nanometers. I don't know that anybody knows how to do that. Uh, and but, the, and but, the cost, the $250 million for a lithography machine. When you first created the process, how, how much did those machines? $25,000. Uh, $25,000. <laughs> big scale. It, 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 a wafer aligner yeah. was, was $25,000. I mean, the, you know, the, the contact less were more like 40000 but, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, that's just uh, unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, oh. I mean you, you could, you know, anybody could make his own fab. Now, yeah. how, how can you, you know, you have to shell out $10 billion for fab. Right. So, what do you do? So, you talked about planes. Uh, one of uh, the key pillars of, of ST was Bruno Marari, and he yep. also was very interested in, in planes. What, do you have any like personal stories or interactions with the, the people like Pasquale Pastorio or Bruno? Of course, or yeah, yeah. With ST? Actually, with, with Bruno, you know, uh, 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 Bruno, we went to Germany together to present uh, some ideas on neural networks because uh, you know at the time when I was uh, CEO of uh, of Synaptics, uh, because uh, you know he was interested in neural networks in, as well, and so uh, you know and I you know I we were there was nothing that we, I consider proprietary in, in those days. We were just playing with you know stuff. So uh, so you know and I, and I got to know him much more. I, I only had met him before when I was working in '67. Uh, uh, because it was an application in those days, uh, but then it became a, a force, and, you know, an, an innovator within yeah. within uh, within S S SGS and ST. Um, and I I've always have high respect for yeah. him. Yeah. And and uh, Pasquale actually at one point uh, I, I interview him to take over to become CEO of, of Synaptics. <laughs> But his wife wanted to go back to Italy. Italy, so so there you go. <laughs> so. That would have been an interesting uh, evolution of both companies. Had actually, this. actually, he would have done better than I because he was senior, and he understood much more about you know. I mean, he, he, he had worked for Motorola, so he had a broader view. It would have been the the right thing to do. But 